Hey everyone, this is Patrick from WorkHands, and I'm going to give you a quick sense of what we do to make it easier to run apprenticeship programs. We work with about 20 different programs right now, a variety of different industries, everything from construction to healthcare and IT, and all kinds of different types of program sponsors and program types as well, everything from union-based programs to community colleges, some sole sponsors, as well as a mix of hours-based as well as competency-based programs. So why don't we hop in and get started. So I'm going to take you through and just show you a dashboard. I'm logged in as an admin on WorkHands, uh, give you a sense of what you can do. Generally, everything you would need to run your program be in here, so you've got your apprentices, their time cards or hours, you know, the competency evaluations, all the different roles. Let's just pull up a, an example apprentice. We can show you what this all looks like. So for individual apprentice, they all have their lo own login as well, and they can see exactly how they're doing their apprenticeship program. When they log in, they see this dashboard specific to them. They can't edit you know, all the details of their account the way you can as an admin. And what we try to do is show an apprentice their progress visually wherever possible. So instead of just putting this information on a spreadsheet, a piece of paper, they can see visually at any given time how they're doing against their total hours and how they're doing against their each of their individual work processes. Green hours are approved hours, and red hours are where they're projected to be based on their start and end dates. So they're constantly paying attention to where they need to make up hours to get that well-balanced apprenticeship. The way this all gets built up is that we generate automatic time cards for apprentices. Those apprentices get notified when it's time to submit. They can get notified by email, text message, or app notification if they have our Android or iPhone apps installed. They go and fill out their hours and they go ahead and hit save for later to update them another time or they can submit them then to their primary supervisor. An apprentice can have many supervisors if they're on a rotation, um, but they're generally submitting to one person consistently. If that needs to change, uh, it can be changed by an admin and the apprentice can actually change who they're submitting to from their list of supervisors. So um, you have as many supervisors as you want for an individual apprentice. For the coursework for an apprentice, uh, we generally try to make it so that you can map your general standards to the individual courses you might be taking. These courses could be online courses, they may be courses taught at a community college, in some cases these are courses that are taught even internally at some of the employers. Again, we try to show the progress visually wherever possible so apprentices can at a glance see how they're doing against their requirements. Now for anything we don't do automatically, uh, we also have the ability to keep a repository of all the documents associated with an apprentice. So things like maybe a waiver for their apprenticeship, maybe some state or federal forms, an evaluation, certifications, all of which are things we aim to support digitally, but in the meantime, you don't have to actually keep this in multiple different places. And then each month, we take all that information for the apprentice. We generate a report for that apprentice. That report has every single time card they've ever submitted. Uh, all the courses they're taking, um, who's approved each course, who's approved each time card, generally the things you need to do have for a review or any kind of audit for your program. Finally, we don't just work with hours-based programs. We have hybrid or competency-based programs as well. So I'll show you a quick example. A lot of the um, sort of fundamentals are similar here. Uh, we try to show progress visually wherever possible, and we try to automate the generation of these competency assignments. So if I pull up OJT here for this hybrid apprentice, instead of just seeing the progress on hours, you can actually see the progress on skills as well. So these things are grouped at any given time. At a glance, you can see how the apprentice is doing across their skills and see how they're doing on both axes of you know their hours they've completed as well as the skills they've completed and would be expected to have completed based on where they're at today. Similar to ours, uh, we generate evaluations automatically, often quarterly, but we can do this as frequently as you'd like. And we notify the apprentice typically to self-review. The apprentice kicks off the process and the supervisor can approve and make edits to it. We just really found that actually a better way to get things going rather than relying on the supervisor who may have a whole bunch of other things to do. So that's that, it's a very quick overview of WorkHands and what you can do for various types of programs. Uh, a whole bunch of the things we have in store to go and make it easier to run apprenticeship programs. Uh, thank you for your time and I look forward to hearing from you.